welcome. The other day I had a question asking about yoga poses for your feet and ankles. And as a runner, I spend a lot of time focusing on my feet and my ankles. So I'm going to show you a few yoga poses that I do regularly and some tips to help hopefully keep you injury free. Let's get on our mat. We're going to start standing and focusing down on our feet. So staring at your feet now, your feet are about hip distance apart. We're just going to focus on lifting big toes up. Try to keep all the other little toes on the floor. And you're going to lift just your big toes up off the floor. And then place them down. Now we're going to try to keep the big toes on the floor and lift all the other toes. Maybe spread them out. And place them back down. You can wiggle the toes, wobble the toes. And slowly put the weight on the balls of the feet and come up onto your tiptoes. Try to keep the ankles together, not out to the sides. Don't let them display out. So you're pushing into that big toe, second toe, coming up to your tiptoes, the balls of the feet. And then slowly come back down. And you can shake out the toes. We're going to head down to the floor. So slowly, you're going to just bring the feet together and come all the way down. Once you get down with your hips towards your heels, we're balancing on the toes, the balls of the feet. So a little toe balance, try to keep the knees together, belly's pulled in, strain the spine. If you need a little bit more support, you can have your hands on the floor here. We're going to move into my next pose, and we're just going to bring the knees to the floor. So now you're getting a greater stretch through the arches, and perhaps you're going to stay right here. Just bending the toes, getting a stretch through the arch, that fascia that runs from the big toe all the way into the heel, comes up the back of the leg. If you feel pretty comfortable here, you can come up, bring your hands off the floor. Maybe you lean back. Only just depends on what you're comfortable with. You can even take your hand, maybe rub those arches, get a little massage on your foot. And then coming forward. After this, I like to take my feet in the opposite direction. So untuck your toes. And just sit back for a little bit. Relax the legs. You can go into your child's pose if you'd like. And just relaxing down. If it's uncomfortable to have your legs flat like this, you can roll up your mat or a blanket and just put it right at the ankle for a little bit more support. Next, we're gonna keep our legs like this, then separate the feet so they're about hip distance apart. Sitting back into our hero's pose, you're only gonna go as far as comfortable for your knees and your quads and those ankles. So depending on what's comfortable for you, maybe you stay right here. Just relaxing into it. Try to keep those knees together. This isn't a W sit. The legs are not wide. They're tucked in right close to you. Taps the feet are on the floor. You can also lean back. So you're just going as far as comfortable for you. You can lay all the way back if you'd like. You also get a nice quad stretch here. We're going to come forward again, and we're going to sit all the way down. So, whatever you want to get all the way down onto your foot, extend the legs all the way out. Toes up, flex the feet, flex the ankles so the toes up, you push out the heels. We're just going to come into our seated forward fold with a long spine, reach for the toes, and then just pull them back. If you want, you can go into this pose further, getting that stretch through the back of the legs, your hamstrings and your calves. But since we're just focusing on the feet and the ankles, just get a nice pull back on those toes. If you're unable to reach your toes and your feet, you can find a strap, a belt you could use, place it underneath the balls of the feet and pull on it. Long spine, still belly's pulled in. And relax. You wiggle the 
toes. We're going to focus on the ankle a little bit. So I like to go into my half lotus next. Bring your foot as far as you can up onto the thigh, right up into the hip. That other leg is extended, toes pointed up, and slowly coming forward. This also is a nice stretch for that hip, back of the leg. You let go of your foot, coming forward, if it stays there. If it moves to the center of your thigh, it's going to be really uncomfortable when you come forward. So you can hang on to it. Belly's pulled in, relax the back of the neck, crown your head is pointed towards your feet. And slowly come up. Let's do the other side, you shake it out. Open up the hip, bring that foot up as high as you can, right up to the opposite hip. Trying to get that knee down, opening up your hip on this side. Your extended leg, toes up, knees up. You can hang on to your foot. Belly's pulled in, come forward with a long spine. Hang on to your foot if it has a tendency to go to the middle of the thigh. Or reaching for that extended foot, relax the head. Tummy's pulled in, deep breaths. And slowly coming up. And extend the leg out. Wobble all the legs. So I'm going to show you a few other tools that I use. I got them all hiding over here. So you don't need all these, but these are just things I've used along the way. There's this little ball. It looks like a golf ball, but instead of indents, the little ball, little ball has uh, knobs that go out. And this I will use on the bottom of my foot. I'll rub it around. I do it when I'm sitting at a desk, um, maybe in a chair, watching TV, things like that. A lot of times you can also just stand on it and stretch that arch out. It doesn't need a lot of pressure, just whatever's comfortable for you. you roll it around. That one's one of my favorite. I have a few of them around the house. This is another one, similar, but the little knobs are a lot bigger and rolling it on the bottom of the foot. You can also stand on it, stretch your arch out. It's another one I use. And moving up the leg to our calf, a lot of times this might work. There's other different kinds of rollers, foam rollers, but on my calf and ankles, I like to roll this on the back, getting into down by your ankle, just like that. So those are the things I do regularly for my feet, my ankles, my calves. Um, you can slip it right into your yoga practice. You can do it after a run, whatever is comfortable for you. I hope you enjoyed my practice and my tips and have a good day.